Hey, hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot card prediction for September 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but please only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. I'd like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these readings for free. Thank you. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number eight of the major arcana of the Rider Waite deck, strength. This can represent a Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars. Could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This could also be the energy coming through of using your courage and your determination and your inner strength. This is an irrevocable fate card. It's a test of fortitude, moral courage and fortitude. It's becoming strong in spirit. It's love triumphing over hate, the higher nature over carnal desires. It's having the inner strength to accept yourself. It's quiet confidence instead of dominance, openness instead of determination. The lion symbolizes passions and anger as well as desire. This is allowing them to emerge and then taming the lion through love and belief in yourself. It's allowing negative feelings to come out in a positive way, and it tells us not to fear our emotions. It's power and energy and action and courage, also complete success and honors. It's going with your feelings, a union of desires. It's having faith in yourself that will pay off. It's strength and fortitude. It's being controlled and disciplined in times of adversity. It's courage with love and compassion. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Two of Swords, Capricorn. This is Moon and Libra. This indecision could prevent your forward progress. This is indecision and stalemate. It's a stressful decision that you need to make. You've postponed it. You need to seek more information and look honestly at a change that needs to be made. Ask questions. You need more facts. Contemplate your options. You could be working at cross purposes with another person or putting off making a decision for now and feeling uncertain. You could be out of self-defense or maybe you... Do not wish to offend or hurt someone involved. Or you may need to withdraw and contemplate your options and collect those facts needed to make the decision. Maybe you're waiting for the timing to be just right. Or you're impatient for change and yet you're not doing anything about it. P could be choosing between two bad outcomes. It's listening to both sides of the story. It's avoiding conflict, acting uninterested, keeping the peace. The strength with the Two of Swords is trying to control emotions. It can be someone trying to tame passions. It's keeping feelings at bay so as to protect them. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number 19 of the Major Arcana. The sun. This can be an Aries or a Leo. So the sun is the ruling celestial body for Leo. This is a fire energy. It's a really good card. This is attainment, liberation. It's marriage and fulfillment. It's success for the future. It's a good marriage and happy reunions material happiness and successes. It's pleasure in the simple life and letting your light shine. This is a resolution of opposing forces. Fears and mysteries vanish and everything becomes simple. There's optimism, excitement, and fresh opportunities and now the hard work is behind you. Now nothing can hold you back except yourself. It's all systems go. This card brightens any negative cards in the spread. It's being warm and optimistic, joyful, fortunate, charismatic, magnanimous, healthy and outgoing, 
playful, successful, being a confident leader. It's seeing the good in others. Opposites will be in harmony. Your efforts or ventures will turn out favorably. You could be starting more than one project or maybe upgrading something in your life. You could be taking a more satisfying job or remodeling your home or even moving to a sunnier climate. Strength card with the sun card brings in healing. This represents a strong life force, health, vitality. It's a good time for action. It's keeping emotions in check. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results. Number five of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Hierophant. This can represent a Taurus. Taurus could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This can also be the rule by the conventional belief system representing traditional orthodox teachings that's considerable suited to the masses, like in versus the high priestess, who only teaches in secret to initiates. That's why some people think that you are supposed to be gifted your first tarot card deck. This is a wisdom revealed. It's a relationship. It's a commitment and acting respectable. It can also be a wise teacher or a mentor. This has to do with moral convictions conformity to social expectations, licenses, certificates, following a conservative path. This can also represent assistance from a wise and helpful person and the urge to find spiritual meaning in life, spiritual truth. It's living by a higher code of conduct. It's making a vow. It's receiving a blessing. It can represent marriage, alliance, love through helpful doctrine, social institutions, this can be a visionary. The strength card with the hero fent is the virtues of endurance and fortitude. This is a leader with advisors. This is someone who rules wisely, and few question this person's style or behavior. They're proud of their word. This is a strong material position. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Ace of Pentacles, this is uh, the root of earth energy, divine influence, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is new money, a healthy new beginning. It's a financial gain. It's the beginning of stability. It's potential and pleasure and beauty. This is a seed to be nurtured. It's an opportunity for real growth. It could be the beginning of a new project, a chance to improve your health, a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This can be a new job opportunity. This is a gateway card. This is a chance for promotion. It's building the foundation for the future, and you'll benefit by spending time in nature, and you can find fresh inspiration there. But do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. It just does not land in your lap. This is a new financial situation. It could be a contract. It's being motivated and ready for a challenge. It's luck and recognition and the realization that you're on the correct path. It's focusing on desired results and a need to focus on staying grounded. This helps you to figure out how to make your dreams a reality, and you know how to handle money. Strength with the Ace of Pentacles is passionate and protective about your finances. Could be being stingy. It's success in the health industry. Two of Swords with the Sun is clarity to make a decision. It's keeping faith and hope alive. It's changes that are happening that you're not seeing yet. A choice will be made that brings contentment. The Two of Swords of the Hero Fint is indecision on which way or path or job to take. This can represent a non-conformist. The Two of Swords of the Ace of Pentacles is a logical business decision. It's new money and a tangible offer. Sun with the Hero Fint is clarity and good feeling about commitment. The Sun with the Ace of Pentacles is success in regards to an important personal matter or project. 
its satisfaction and happiness as a result. The hero flint with the Ace of Pentacles is its access to an opportunity. It's wanting to know how to begin. Someone may feel the need to join a group to get a big break. It could represent the stock market. And now for your Vice Versa Tarot card by the deck by Lunia Weatherstone. Number 21 of the Major Arcana. The World. Capricorn, this is one of your cards, not just the devil. The world is also your card. Earth energy. This side. A wreath of laurel leaves loop through a golden rings form a celestial portal between the worlds. That's a woodpecker knocking, you guys. I, I'm deep in the north. It's just nothing around me but wildlife. Now through this opening, a divine dancer emerges, veiled in the purple of, of wisdom. Her attitude is ecstatic and free from all constriction. Two candles burn beside her, echoing the blue and red fires tended by the high priestess. That's the major arcana too. Surrounding the wreath are images represented, representing the four elements, the four archangels, and the four fixed signs of the zodiac. Aquarius Angel, Scorpio Eagle, Leo Lion, and Taurus Bull. When you get this side in a reading, the key concept for the world card is completion. It is the last card in the Major Arcana. The four divine beings are brought together to witness that a cycle has reached its conclusion. The dancer evokes the joy of the Yogini from the Death card, Major Arcana 13, and her pose evokes a spiritual surrender of the hanged man. Life has triumphed. The soul is renewed. Take a victory lap and get ready to start the next cycle. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.